Hello, welcome back to the Be Joan Style channel. I am with Samantha Knight. Hi. And I'm so excited. We are going to spend the day with Samantha, the expert on vintage <laughs> jewelry and the dreamiest collection possible. We're gonna dive into that collection, get a little tour of her home, which I'm dying over, <laughs> and get some tips and tricks on how to style vintage jewelry, what to invest in, and how to be as fabulous as this <laughs> woman. And I'm dying as I pulled up to your house. And first, before we sit down or do anything, you have to give me a tour, a mini I, tour of the absolutely. house. Absolutely, I'll give you a quick tour. So this is our entry room, our entry. This is my fabulous, I love leopard print. Yes. So I had to incorporate it in my home. And every morning you walk down the stairs looking fabulous. chic and fabulous. <laughs> looking down, my, I love my it. Gowns. And this home is built in 1887. And so. oh my goodness. So take me into the parlor, right? So welcome to our parlor. Victorian homes had all these very formal rooms, so that's why I have names for these rooms. So this is our parlor, which I love because it's just open, it's bright. We shoot almost everything right here. This is our little area where we shoot because the lighting in here is so great. Yeah. Real right. quick, I just want a few little details. Absolutely. Can you tell me about this? piece this of art. This is Paul Mar. It was in my husband's grandmother's house um, wow. and the painting is of the Pittsburgh skyline back in the, I believe, 30s. So with all the steel mills, that was his interpretation, um, which I love that it had just a contemporary art in the antique house. Um, What's your favorite thing in this room? Is this painting. Oh, tell me about it. My husband bought it for me on, for our 15th year anniversary. And it's a local artist, his name is Ray Turner. I love, love, love his pieces. And my husband surprised me and bought me this beautiful piece for our anniversary. Okay, it's so moody piece. and so, like, but then you see the little detail all throughout it. It's, uh, it's so spectacular. Oh, it's amazing. I, it. I do love these chairs as well. Yes. They're so cool from the 70s, but the painting is my favorite piece. I love it. Okay, okay. on to the next. On to the next. So in all the Victorian homes, they have music rooms. So this is our music room and it does get used. My husband plays the guitar. My daughter plays the piano. We just love music. We have record players. Um, so this room definitely gets used. I love that. And then into our dining room which I love, um, we use it, we do use it often. I sometimes just will set a table casually, again, because I'm very casual. Yes, <laughs> always play um, dress up. But it's really great. So this is another piece that came from my husband's, another grandmother's house. We do have pieces in the house that came from both grandparents, which is nice. It's just great for him too, to have that history since he is away from his family because he's from the East Coast. So this is a great thing. And, if you want me to show you my favorite piece yes. in this room, yes. these chandeliers. Oh my gosh. Where did you, are these, I'm they're, sure you found them somewhere. No, these are actually modern, but they're out Really? <gasps> yes, and I just think they, they kind of are like the jewel of the room. They are so special to me, so. I, did you ever watch Anne of Green Gables, the old Anne of Green Gables and Anne of Avonlea? No. She always talked about alabaster, like, <laughs> she always talked about like fabulous things and alabaster was one of them and as a child I was always like, what's alabaster? That yes. sounds amazing. So really, really heavy. This is alabaster. Yes. They're really heavy? Very heavy. Very, very heavy. So we were a little nervous, but that's why they're all 
Yeah, they're staying there. And then take us into, this is where Samantha and I jewelry happens. And this is our studio. Which, what would this have been in the this home? This the den. Oh, this okay. Was the den. Okay. We used to use it as a den until I needed to move out of my last studio because I needed it for a child to move in during right. the pandemic. Um, so then we just took this room over, which I love because it's nice and cozy. I also sometimes call it the cave because it is dark, but I love it. Everything. Yeah. You know, I have this, my little mascot here, which she's always dripping in some kind of gold that I take off for the day. I love it. Um, yeah, so this is where Samantha Night Magic happens. Yes. I love it. We have our candles and our crystals. I love crystals and special candles. And I have a special crystal guy who's dear to my heart. Um, and yeah. it smells amazing in here. What is the candle that is burning? This is Maison. Ooh, it smells so yes. amazing. I always burn different ones, but also the other candles that I have that are um, special with my crystals, they all have certain a certain scent. Ooh. So they, I just think it blends really well together. Amazing. Okay, well, I want to sit down and let everybody actually meet you, find out more about you. So can we sit maybe in your parlor and have a yes, little chat? I think that's the right place. Okay, Samantha, we're sitting down in your gloriously inspiring, <laughs> what is this, a Victorian? It's a Victorian house, and this room is called the parlor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, goals right here, goals. Uh, first of all, tell everybody who you are. Actually, I want to tell everybody how we met. Okay. First, I've had the privilege of doing Pickwick this year, and Samantha is there every month. Every right? month. Every yes. Month. Yeah, we're doing it every month now. And she shows her Samantha Knight jewelry collection. I did an interview with you, and like, I feel like I kind of fell in love with you and had a girl <laughs> crush on her just because you're like always styled so fabulously. Her collection is amazing. We had so much fun. We had a lot of that fun. day. It was really fun. Doing yeah. That. I was a little nervous. No, it was really fun. Now we started yeah. talking, and I'm just get pretty yappy. So yes, same fun. here. <laughs> and I love the stories of, of antique jewelry and the patinas and the feel. It's just one of a kind, so you're not going to walk into places where everyone's going to have the same thing, which I love it. Yeah. And I love just to pile on, oh as my you God. can see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it was so much fun. I asked, I said, can I come to your home and like see the whole collection and can we talk all about jewelry? And I just feel like you're so inspiring. So I just kind of like Thank you. get to know a little bit Thank more. You. Yeah. So that's how we met. But why don't you tell everybody who you are and kind of how you ended up having Samantha Knight jewelry, just a little bit of the backstory. Sure, so a few, no, not a few. Like about <laughs> 10 years ago, I just started, I got into jewelry and I was doing not fine jewelry. And as I was getting more into the jewelry, I started falling in love with diamonds and Ooh. gold. <laughs> Girls best friends. So, and I've always loved, I love antique furniture. So I would go to antique stores and then I started noticing the jewelry. And then I started personally layering antique jewelry and fine jewelry. Okay. And then I'd have friends come around and ask me, oh, I like this look, can you find me something? And I would source for friends, but then I decided, well, if I'm doing this already, why not pivot my business and go into antique vintage with fine jewelry. Okay. So that's just how the whole thing started. And I feel like what I noticed about you that was so much fun at Pickwick is that you really do the stacking and the layering so well. Roll what? My sleeves. Yes. <laughs> Her arm stacks make me so excited. I actually, that's an area I don't do, and I feel like I want to get more into that of like having yeah. a lot on the wrist. Yeah. It's so much fun. But how did that start for you? I mean, was there an inspiration for the stacking? It just there? was, it started with a love bracelet and pretty on its own, right. fancy, right? <laughs> up on its own. And I just started adding bracelets. I just right. like the look. And I have a funny thing where I do only odd numbers. Ooh, yeah. I, I, well, just, I think it, that's a styling but, secret. Yeah. Anyway. Even with home decor, it's like you want threes or fives. Right. Or, you know, right. I think so it's I, So I do that with my jewelry. Yeah. And then minus my Fitbit that I'm wearing now. <laughs> my husband then gave me a diamond tennis bracelet for my 45th birthday. I'm putting my age out there. Well, Woo -woo. older than that now. But. Um, <laughs> And I just started adding, and I love to do, like I said, the modern with the antique, which I have on this wrist. Right. And then my right wrist used to be plain. Mm -hmm. And then I had another love bracelet, so I decided to split them. A lot of times people stack them. Right. But I just like the variety of different links and styles. And as, you know, time went by, I just kept adding, and now I'm equally left to right. <laughs> yes. Okay, head. so I want to kind of know, every night, is it a whole... No. Like take off process. I don't take off anything you other don't. than my watch on my left 
No. Wow. And then on the right side, if I'm wearing like a special bangle, like this nail bangle, right. this will come off, but everything else will stay. Okay. And then I have a funny secret of wow. how I keep everything. So after my shower, right. I blow dry everything <gasps> so it just stays fresh. I think that like she <laughs> sleeps in her jewels. Okay. This is, I, I need to start doing this. I think actually I would do the bracelets more if I didn't. Because even for me, it's like right. taking off all of this sometimes is yeah. a whole process. I do take off moment. most of my, most of my, if I'm wearing like just a little staple necklace, which mm -hmm. am I wearing one today? Oh, like this little diamond, I don't right. take off this okay. individual. I take off my jewelry, my necklaces. I okay. definitely do that. Um, and my earrings, if I'm wearing small studs like I'm wearing today, I'll take, I'll leave these on. But okay. if I have something dangly, I do take do them off. fabulous robe that you wear. I feel like I could see I you do with have, all your jewels. I do. A I had a robe. funny story from this weekend where I wear these, I wear long nightgowns. Yeah. Me too. I, I love a nightgown. I love a nightgown. Yes, I, I love so them. Fun. And I had all my jewels on after <laughs> an event. We all came home and we just changed because I was with the girls in the Hamptons this weekend doing an event. And I just slipped it on and they were laughing at me. They're like, even at... Dinner is like, yeah, well, yeah. this is with my rosé. That's <laughs> I amazing. used to joke about coming down those stairs yes. all fabulous in my long morning gown. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Bring back the, like, I even have, like, um, house dresses from the 40s, oh, and they're so fabulous. Yes. And that's what women were, like, they're schlepping around yes, clothes. Absolutely. House dresses absolutely. that are, like, puff sleeves and right. gorgeous prints and all of it. So I love Well, I dress, and even through COVID, when I was home alone, like, Natalie wasn't here, and I was, I would get fully dressed. Oh, like, head fully to head to toe. Yeah. What makeup I wear, right. jewels, hats, like I would totally, I think anybody thought I would have been crazy. No, I was, with, I was with you <laughs> doing the same thing. I feel like it brings joy into the day. Absolutely. It makes you feel like yourself. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. I mean, even if you are staying home or if you're literally going to the grocery store, yeah. you just feel like, why not? I, when things were being delivered, I thought the UPS guy must have thought <laughs> yeah. I was crazy about the door. Like, thank you. I'm on the background of the Zoom call my, like, second grader, and I'm, like, in my full outfit. I'm sure all the other moms are like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, I have to. I have to. I feel more like some Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so much fun. And I feel like we're going to get a whole dive into your collection and see all of the dripping and the draping and all of the <laughs> gloriousness of her collection. Yeah, and I think... I think we should hop into that. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm right now. I'm ready. Let's ready to it. show you. Okay, Samantha. Oh, okay. Come in here. <laughs> okay, so we just saw your beautiful home. Thank you. It's the perfect setting for if you're gonna work from home. Yeah. I mean, I mean come I on. Know. I, I'm the very best. fortunate, and I have gratitude every day. Yeah, it's wonderful. But I feel like now we need to see all the tour. Okay, I'm yeah. ready. I have it all set up for you. So I want a whole little tour all of right. the collection. All Let's right. get in there. Let's go. So what I did is I just set up to show you kind of some of my, I would say kind of signature looks. Also, I set up some, we talked about doing some fall trends, so we'll yes. talk about that more in a bit. But I am known for my chains. Yes. So you can see here we have Victorian, uh, 70s modern mm. and this big daddy is phenomenal it's italian oh that's so amazing and then if you move up here with the so let's we'll just do chain since we talked about it again this is a victorian watch chain with a modern piece this is actually in our sk fine line this diamond necklace i put together with antique diamonds Ooh. yeah and then two antique watch chains these are what I've seen a lot at Pickwick and are so much fun. So yes. these are antique watch chains, men's old men's, watch chains, right. and then you put charms, charms on, them. on them. So these two chains, both watch chains were short. So what I did is to make one long necklace, I just combined them, which I really love the combination of styles mm -hmm. and just the, I love to wear clothing that mismatch the prints. So yes. this kind of fits with the, my mix and style. match. Yes, mix yes. and match, that's it. And sapphire cuff, which is similar to the one that I have that people tend to, every time I wear it, I get so many requests to purchase it even when I say it's not for sale, but people love it. So when I came across this, this guy, one. I just, I had to buy it and add it to the collection. I love that. So on this neck, I put just some long chains. I like mixing again, the old links and the new links. These are just a few example of our more simple chains but then look at this yeah, spectacular piece so this was a victorian brooch that was then converted 
into a necklace and talk about a statement. Oh, wow. It's just, it's one of those that this would be beautiful if you're going to some fancy party, to an awards uh, ceremony. Um, it would look fantastic with a strapless dress and just wearing that with yes. some simple diamond stud earrings. I've never seen anything like that. It, that's a definitely love less is more piece, which is not necessarily my motto, but for that, I think that It that makes a lot of sense. Makes sense. Yes. yes. So here's another example of 70s vintage and modern. Um, again, I'm liking right now going into fall a shorter neck because we tend to wear higher necklines in our clothing. Yeah, true. So that's where I'm setting uh, my necks for going in the fall and how I'm styling them. So again, in just talking about statement, I like these. I know that these are two rings, but I love them stacked. stacked. Um, I just have been styling them stacked like this because I just think it makes such a beautiful statement. I love a good statement ring on an index finger. Yes. Um, and then this one is more retro. Ooh, which yeah. is really great with all that Ooh, detail and yeah. that center diamond. Okay, so any of these or a couple of these would be a great start to your wrist collection. These are vintage. This one is an antique piece. And the weight of these, you, these links, you can't even imagine. It's so nice and weighty and it feels buttery. <gasps> oh my Isn't gosh. Isn't that great? God, <laughs> That's what I call it. And the patina <laughs> is just, it's just yummy. I, anything buttery, I always refer to Ooh. it as yummy, but it's just really, really, really a good way to, any of these would be a great start to your wrist collection. I love that. She's getting awesome. the magic together back there, and Samantha's going to frost my neck, show us some tips and tricks on how to layer, style some of her amazing pieces. So I've got a naked neck now ready for some beautiful pieces. We start with the long chain. So we're chain. gonna start with the long chain. And I this has the uh, quartz, it's a beautiful quartz and gold. And now we're gonna go to the next length. And this is on a, one of those that we saw earlier, antique watch chain. And I'm giving you a little clover, or a little clover for some luck. I love it. I kind of choose my everyday pieces depending on what my mood is and what I'm feeling like I need that day. Yeah. And it's luck, if it's love. So we're gonna add some ice. Ooh, yes. So we have to add some sparkle. So we've got the ice, the little charms. See this way. Okay. All right, and now we're going to the shortest. I'm gonna add just one more little bit of bling, and then I'll fix you so you're all shushed. Yes, and this one is a choker. So we have the choker, the ice, then this is the charm, and we have the beautiful long. Yeah, and then this one here is just kind of having a nice statement piece, but I, I like to fill up the neck as much as I can. And again, we went with the odd number. So I thought this was interesting because I think sometimes when I have like the medallion style, mm -hmm. I think I have to do all of that. Right. But you did, what, what do you call it? Just chain. Just, just, just chain. chains. Yeah, because I like to have it up here. Because if you start with, I, sometimes I do a lot of charms and then right. a lot of charms, which I absolutely do do that. Right. But even just with what you're wearing, I kind of was styling off of that. And I like to fill this up because you have more space here yes. from your neckline. And then the chains just and kind of add a little more drama. Final statement yeah. pieces. And then I feel like a lot of people ask about layering and if it's gonna get tangled or just any tips on that. Well, my pieces don't tend to get tangled. So I think it's, um, I always just start with my long ones and then my short ones. And I do occasionally will adjust them, but I never have the problem of them getting very tangled. Yeah, and so. do you have any, cause I always feel like once I get it on, sometimes I'm, I think like, ooh, I actually want this on top oh, of that one. I change one. them all the yeah, time. Yeah, sometimes I'll, I tend to like, the larger pieces at the bottom, yes. it just balances out. And many times in the morning, because like I said, I change my charms every single day yes. with what, how I'm feeling. If right. I'm feeling, I, whatever it is, I go on a date night, I wear all my charms that represent my husband and oh, I, and I have a little one that says Peter, you know, right. wear that. Um, but definitely I'll put things on, I'll change not just the location, but change the chains. Yes. Sometimes I just, they just, it doesn't feel right to me. 
Okay. Um, yeah. So definitely change things around and whatever feels comfortable to you. Love that. Okay, so we've got on the nice little neck party, but we've got to add, I mean, look at these bare wrists. They need some more fun. <laughs> so Samantha's gonna share her little tips on the wrist party. Oh, I love this. Like, and what year is it or what? Um, that is 70s Gucci. Okay. Yeah. No wonder I love it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add some bling. Okay. So this is a modern piece that we make. Um, it's all diamonds, which you can tell. Wow. It's a cuff. I love so that. You don't usually versus, see a cuff. No, so it's, it's a play on a traditional um, tennis bracelet. Yeah. Here is a big, heavy, <gasps> big, heavy curb, <gasps> which is, you can just feel the weight. Oh, flip it around for you so that you could. I mean, I'm okay. Who needs weights? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we're going bigger. Call your last, Samantha. <laughs> Gosh. We're gonna go to five, and then you're this converting is a smaller, me. Smaller, so we need different sizes. So yes. that's a smaller one, and then I'm gonna add a different one that is with a different link. Again, for the variety, so you're gonna slide this on over these babies. Yep. Okay, here we go. All such unique clasps too, that's, which is yeah, really interesting all, yeah, about so. antique pieces like that. So tell everybody your tips and tricks to creating this magic that's happening on my wrist. <laughs> I might leave right now and just scooch out. Okay, but I won't. We'll come after you. <laughs> so um, what I did here is I did a heavy 70s. This this is brand new to us, and don't be surprised if you see it on my wrist. <laughs> but um, with the different links, it just complements. And then I added diamonds. It just breaks up all the gold. So it's all different sizes, and it just works as it moves during the day. It just feels really good and it looks, I love the way the mix and match of the links look. And I feel like as you're, you know, talking, it's just this whole interest. Yes. Eye catching. And I would say sometimes I feel, I think I avoid the wrist because I feel like it will get in my way if I'm yeah. typing or whatever, right. but this is great because right. it almost feels like it's attached to my body. Yeah. Like it's just <laughs> part of me <laughs> instead of like gonna be Yeah, in and I way. tend to like bracelets to fit. Um, closer to the wrist. Yeah. They don't have to be tight, but they're not moving around so much. Yeah. And that's just, I, I think that's, it's just a better fit. Some people do like them longer to fall on their hand, but I prefer it this way. And then I think that's why they stay, it feels like it stays out of your way. And they're also not gonna get caught in anything. Yes. And now what would you say, cause I do think, you know, if you wanna start building your jewelry collection, because you all know I love to go to thrift stores and buy things used and I love vintage, but I also believe in the investment piece as well, right. especially, I mean, if it's vintage, it's so much fun and there's right. a story behind it and right. all of it. So if somebody wants to start building their jewelry collection, what do you suggest? Like, what are the first pieces they I should think, start with? I think the first piece is a gold chain. Yes. Is a yeah. gold chain. Up here. Up here. Okay. And yeah. I think a 16 to 18 inch is the right size because- Which on this, which one would that be? This like here. Okay. Um, just because it's so versatile, you can mm -hmm. go shorter and longer after, that's the right place to start. And then as far as a bracelet goes, I like something that's a little bigger. It doesn't have to be your biggest on your, but I would something like this one because it's it will motivate. I believe it'll motivate you to, to continue to go. But you don't this want kind of mid, yeah, size something about chain. mid size okay. because then really from there it's easier to then build something smaller. Because right. if it starts too dainty, you also can get it caught on things, and then you know you get maybe the dainty one next or the larger one or the diamonds. But you just I love the idea of five on a wrist. That's, yeah. I think seven would be a bit much. Well, sometimes I, I've done seven. You know, with Iris <laughs> Atfeld would say like 10 on each arm, and I love that too. Right, right, right. It's just for me. Right, right, right. Style. Yes. I, I love the idea of five, and yes. definitely all different links. So. Yeah. yeah, and I think too what's really great, of course, with investment pieces is that this is something you have for a lifetime. Like you, you wear it every right, day. Right. It, and, and I talk about this all the time, but to me, jewelry are the things that become your signatures and you're known for yes, this. You're known yes. for what's on your wrist, you're known for what's on your neck, your hands. And I'm a believer in like the repeating accessory. I put on these rings every single day, no matter what I'm gonna wear. Right. And I feel like that's what kind of makes it really fun. It's and really then you fun. can go crazy with the outfit. And I definitely simple. think it's every day everyday adornments right. and you know I often say like whether you're going to the grocery store somewhere maybe you don't have to but I am always 
totally done up. Yes. But I just think you should wear it. You yeah. should wear it and enjoy it. And I think there's, you should absolutely let the world see it. Yeah. <laughs> and like, even with your charms, they can all mean different things. And like you said, if you're going to go on a date, it's one thing or, right. you know, kind of whatever you're feeling that day. And also I think it's fun to kind of go, oh, this was, you know, I'm, we got this at an antique store in I absolutely wherever, have and, you know, pieces kind of like collected. that. Absolutely yeah. have pieces that way yeah. that I find in different places that I go, and they are mementos, and yeah, it's definitely memories. Yes, definitely I love memories. That. That's what I think yeah. jewelry, um, I mean, I love clothes too, but to me, I think jewelry, because you wear it so often and, and it becomes your every day, it's, it almost like makes up some of who you are, right. which I think is so right. special right. and so magical. Yes. <laughs> so just in the way that I put uh, charms together, I like to mix the sizes and shapes. So I tend to put the longest at the end, and then this is what I chose. So I would put the uh, big, the biggest round here, my St. Christopher, which I wear every day, and then our love letters, I just like to stack them. I like to mix the shapes and sizes. So that's that. a perfect example of putting one together in the morning. Okay, well I just had the best time ever. Really fun. Oh my gosh. Really, really I mean, fun. getting to see your home is so amazing. You're always dressed in the nights, <laughs> which I love. A girl after my own heart, I feel like. And then of course, you guys, all of the dripping and the draping and the gold and all of it. I love it so much. So thank you for letting me come up Thanks here. Thanks for coming. It was Thanks amazing. It was so fun. Yeah. yeah. And just so that everybody can get all the details on you, they can go to samanthanightjewelry.com. Yes. And shop. And shop full e-commerce site. Yes, all the pieces, a lot of what you saw today, that, right. that this is of, all available. Yes, and everything's everything. pretty much one of a kind, right? You have yes. some. we have some that uh, find, we have SK Fine. Right. Uh, which is made to order, but everything else one of a kind. One of a kind. Everything is, else, so if you see something, love. you have to grab it. Get it now. <laughs> and then also they can follow you on Instagram, which is? Samantha Knight Jewelry. So definitely, follow us because we post a bunch a day and all the new pieces go onto Instagram and then you can shop them. Yes. And send her a DM if you're interested. And then yes. if you are local in the LA, Orange County, Southern California region or happen to be in town, this September uh, show of Pickwick. You'll yes. be there. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Saturday. We'll both be there. And um, Samantha will be there and showing all of her amazing pieces. And it's really fun because I feel like it's a chance to meet you and like right. try and everything see things on. in person. Yeah. A lot which... of times people want to see things in person, which yes. I understand. So it's a fun time even just to come and play with the jewelry. Yes. I always invite people just play with a couple yeah. things. What are you interested in? What do you want to just try on to see? Maybe not today, but you know, for another day, it's definitely a good to come and see us. Yeah. And yeah. the holidays are coming up and I feel like this is the time of gifting right. for yourself <laughs> and also, you know, loved ones and all of that. And just thinking of like, if you do want to kind of add a little more bling for the holidays. Yeah, for the holidays. Yeah. It's for ourselves too. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, really, I just sent my husband a list. <laughs> this is what I want. And I could buy it for myself, but you know what? You could surprise me on Christmas yes. morning. I'm yes. very surprised. <laughs> so I, get a, I get a lot of that. Yeah. I get a lot of self-shopping. Shop. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> totally. Okay. Well, thank you again. It was thank so you. much fun. And finally, I just want to say, always, always play, play dress, dress up. up. Bye.